In this video, we're going to take a look at resistivity. So resistivity is a property that depends on what the material is made out of, and it allows us to calculate the resistance of a material. So here we have a conductor and we've got a current flow through the conductor. We also have a cross sectional area and a length, and we can use the equation R equals rho L divided by A to work out the resistance. So R is the electrical resistance in ohms. L is the length of the material. A is the cross-sectional area of the material. And rho is the resistivity of the material. Now, quite often, our materials are shaped into round wires. And we can use this handy equation here to work out the cross-sectional area of a wire. So A equals pi d squared over 4. And this is where A is the cross-sectional area of the wire, D is the diameter. Now, obviously, we can use A equals pi r squared, but often we're given the diameter, so it's more convenient to use this form of the equation. Back to resistivity, then, we can see that we can classify materials depending on their resistivity. So superconductors have zero resistivity, so there's no restriction to the flow of current. Metals have a very low resistivity, around 10 to the minus 8 ohm meters. So ohm meters are the units for resistivity. Insulators have a very high resistivity, around 10 to the power of 16 ohm meters. And semiconductors are somewhere in between, normally around 100 ohms. Okay, so we can also see that resistivity depends on the material that we are examining. So there's a number of values given in the table below. Uh, so we can see the top few, uh, tungsten, copper, platinum, are all metals and they have very low resistivities. And then as we go down the, down the table, we come to some semiconductors, germanium and silicon. Now, the precise value of the resistivity for these materials depends on their impurities, and that actually applies to all materials. If there's impurities in them, it will affect the resistivity. The final one there, quartz SiO2 in a crystalline structure, has a very high resistivity. So that's what glass is made out of as well, uh, like an amorphous form of quartz. So 7.5 times 10 to the 17 ohm meters. If we look at this graph here, we can also see that resistivity depends on temperature. So this graph shows us the resistivity of tungsten versus temperature. And what we can do is we can fit a polynomial to that data. And we've now got an equation that will tell us the resistivity of tungsten depending on temperature. So where we have T squared and where we have T, we just put the value of temperature in there that we're interested in, in Kelvin and we can calculate the resistivity for any temperature in the range that is shown on the graph. So that's been a video about resistivity. I hope you found that useful. Please remember to like, comment and subscribe and thanks very much for watching.